Hi, my name is David Ramon. I am also a uh, uh, LAUSD alumni here for Lincoln High School, graduated in 2013. I'm here to support the teachers because throughout the four years that I've been here in this high school, uh, they've helped me out a lot. Um, I am where I am now because of these teachers and because of LAUSD. And uh, I realized that uh, we barely made it through the resources that we had during my years. And it looks like uh, the resources have been going down ever since then. So I figured I could do the, if they've helped me out throughout these past four years, I, I really need to do my part to do the same to help all these teachers that have been a huge part of my life so they can continue to teach and teach um, with a much better resources that they need to bring out the best in students uh, for the years to come. Well, I came to high school here years ago. I don't remember when I graduated, uh, but I came to support my teachers. A lot of them are still here. Uh, they're still my teachers in my school, and you know I support what they're doing. Uh, and they inspire me because they're really fighting for the, to bring better resources for the students. Because this is the opportunity of a lifetime. We haven't done this in 30 years. Our voice, our voice has to be heard. We're fighting for social justice, not only for students, for teachers, but also for students who can't speak for themselves, English learners, um, students who have special needs, learning disabilities. We're also fighting for adult education. And of course, you girls are gonna be leaving us soon, but the little ones are coming. We're fighting for them. Uh, I'm an organizer, I'm a musician with Las Cafeteras, and my family came to the school. My family came to Lincoln High School. Joaquin, Joanna, Luisa Maria, and now they, they have beautiful families. They're so, my family is so dope. And their foundation was here at Lincoln High School in, in Lincoln Heights. And the only, the, the least I can do is to come here and support the teachers that help develop and cultivate my family. You know, if you're not gonna support teachers, then what you gonna support? If you're not down with the learning educational institutions that support communities in East LA, what you down for then? You know, like this is the foundation of how to read, write, engage. And so like I'm here just to give my respect, my, my support, you know, fully. And I know a lot of these folks, you know. I used to work here as well. So now I lived here, I worked here, and I know folks here ain't here for the money. They're here because they love, they love our people, you know. They love our people. And so like, they loved my family when they were here, they taught my family when they were here, and that's why I'm here. And on day three in the strike, yo. My name is Melissa Avila. I am a Lincoln High School alumni. I graduated in class of 2015. And I'm out here today protesting because the teacher at Lincoln High School saw potential in me when I was a student, and that's why I became an activist that I am today. So I'm here supporting my former teachers and the community and the students that I work with at Lincoln. that before we address the educational concerns at our school site. You know, it, of course, it's always about money, but you know what? At the end, we, have, we see these kids on a daily basis, and we need to help them. And we need to help our families, our parents, everybody. And that's why I'm out. I am Melissa. I am Melissa Braga, social science teacher, and I'm striking because I am not a counselor, and I'm giving 
role to be like a counselor. And I don't think that's fair that students have to get on a teacher to also counsel them and provide services. So you guys need more counselors and more of our to support you because my job to be a teacher. I love you, but I, can't, I don't know everything. My name's Alan Cox. I teach physics here at uh, Abraham Lincoln High School. And I'm striking because I'm sick and tired of all the excuses about public education. Rain or shine, we walk Yo, California used to be, our public education system was the crown jewel of our state. We are the richest state and one of the richest countries. And our public schools should be the best in the world. And we keep getting these excuses like, oh, we don't have enough money. We don't have enough money. Well, you know what? Go find some money. Go find it now. We need this. Our students deserve this. This is ridiculous. Ramon. Uh, and what are you guys doing here today? Well, actually, right now, the, um, the kids from Bravo High School, say hi, guys. They're actually volunteering, actually, for holding the flags to represent, actually. And this it doesn't just affect California, but it affects not just also, but nationwide and worldwide. Future generations of America, future doctors, future attorneys, you never know. Might end up, end up living in one of your states. So definitely, let's represent with the kids of America with our flag. And uh, where did you get these flags? Actually, I decided to purchase the flag on my own. I bought over 400 flags and I've been distributed to teachers, students, and a lot of uh, parents who are actually supporting the teachers as usual. Because I don't want more students in my classroom. As it is, it is very hard to teach a class of 40 students. Um, never mind a class of 50. I'm Art Lecone from uh, Lincoln High School. I teach Spanish and Chicano Studies. Uh, I'm out here uh, picketing and holding the line for my students. They deserve to have a nurse in their school every day. They deserve to have a classroom that's not packed. Uh, they deserve to have uh, a better conditions, better learning conditions. So we're going to hold the line until the students get what they deserve. What is my name is Juan Ramon. I'm a former student here at, uh, from Lincoln High School, graduated in 2013. Um, I'm here to protest here with all the teachers because it's basically um, in accordance with them and making and realizing that they need that they need to have their basic needs required and having less class size, which is something that I experienced in my year, seeing that there were a bunch of students, a lot more students than you can actually have in the classroom, and realizing that they actually make a whole lot of difference only to get paid a certain amount is really unacceptable at this point. And to have the LUSD just kind of hide back and assume that because that they don't have the resources, they don't have the money to provide all that is not definitely absolutely not true and these teachers deserve the absolute best to make sure that not only are they comfortable with the job that they're doing but to make sure that at the end of the day they're comfortable realizing that they're going to help us um, grow up and make a difference as we grow up and graduate as better people, as better students, as better um, people um, learning things every single day. So I'm here to protest in regards with them. So um, I'm pretty sure things are going to turn out very well, but these teachers deserve the absolute best because they give us the absolute best. I'm, I'm striking because I believe that our teachers deserve better and I, I, I believe that most of, I mean all of LAUSD teachers are very undervalued with the, the contract that they have and I think we do need more resources so that everyone in the school can learn learn, learn about each other on an, indivi on an individual level. What are you guys' names? My name is Mr. Ovidio. Mr. Lou. And how are you guys like associated with the strike? We are teachers. I'm a relatively new teacher here at Lincoln. I've been here for, it's my third year. I've been here forever. I was uh, around with the last strike too, but not as a teacher, but I was as a teacher assistant, so I know what it's like. Um, what do you want there to be accomplished after the strike? First, what I would like is I like resolution. Resolution where there's no more tension between the district and the teachers union. I think that's, that's a top priority. But what I'd like to see as an outcome I would like to see, I think, nurses at elementary schools. It's tough when you only have a nurse at elementary school one or two days a week. So it's not necessarily my working conditions, but I think working conditions of other teachers and just giving students what they deserve. The students can't strike, can they? How is a student going to strike? Not show up? That's Dude, one way. There's no students' union. Students can't strike. We need to fight on students' behalf. So for students to be able to, you know, learn in a smaller class, 
or to have nurses on campus for their own sake, I think we're fighting for them more so than us sometimes too. I agree because having class size of 40 plus kids is not really okay, can we have conductive for learning. Okay.
minha rocha Mas a lenha Que madeira maçã Hoje é um dia de sol Alegria de sol É tudo no verão In the squares of the city, in the shadow of the steeple, near the relief office, I see my people. Some are grumbling, and all are wondering if this land's still made for you and me.